This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. The next topic on our road to learning C++ is performing arithmetic. In this first video, I'm going to talk about the arithmetic operators found in C++. Rather than just give you a dry list, I thought I'd just demonstrate how to use them. So let's start off by creating a few variables here. Three variables. They're all integers. We're going to work with integers. Number one, number two, and result one. We'll assign some values to number one and number two. And then we'll begin by writing some expressions that use the arithmetic operators. So our first arithmetic operator is addition. Using the plus sign. I don't think I need to display the result. We can very easily add 22 plus 2 to get 24. Next on the list is subtraction. Subtraction is performed with the dash or the minus sign. Next up is multiplication. The multiplication operator in C++ is the asterisk. Whoops, not 22, but a 44. The fourth operator is division. Division is the forward slash. 22 divided by 2 is 11. Then the last operator in the standard set of arithmetic operators in C++ is the modulus operator, which stands for remainder. This one I'm going to display because you may not be familiar with what happens when you perform modulus or remainder operations. Unlike the division operator, the modulus operator returns the remainder of a division. So in this particular example, number 1 is equal to 22 and number 1 is equal to 2, there will be no remainder because 2 divides into 22 evenly. So what we should see when we compile and run this program is 0. And indeed, if you look up at the top left, we do have 0. Let's change the value of number 2 to 3 rather than 2 and build and run the program again. This time we should see a remainder of 1. Okay, let's try one more example. Let's change number 2 to 5, build and run, and we get a result of 2. That's how the remainder operator works. Let's look at some more examples, this time using floating point values. I'm having a little trouble typing here. And we'll see that the operators for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division work equally for floating point numbers as they do for integers or whole numbers. Oh, I made a mistake above. Let's just fix that real quick. I'm not going to display these results except for the last one, which will be modulus. And actually, I'm not even going to get a chance to display modulus. All right, so we've covered addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, let's try to do remainder operation on floating points. And I see I made a mistake right above here. Let me fix that real quick. Easy to make mistakes typing. Now, I want to bring the message box up a little bit because I want you to see what happens when we try to build and run this program. All right, we have an error. We have an invalid operands of types double and double to binary operator modulus. We got this error because modulus is not defined for floating point numbers. You can only perform remainder operations on whole numbers, so you can't do it with floating point numbers like doubles. So we can erase that. Compile again. This time our program runs. Of course, it didn't really display anything because we didn't display the last set of operations. So that ends our discussion of the standard arithmetic operators in C++.
Let me leave you with a problem that you can think about for the next video. What is the result of this operation? Think about that, and then when I come back in the next video, I'll give you the answer.